Well, for many years, the Thomas and Max Center was known as Tark's Shark Tank and was the place to be in Las Vegas. But the good times did not last for the running rebels and sports fans in the valley. Embracing what it means to play in Las Vegas, showcasing their swagger and winning with style. Growing up, the running rebels were, you know, the, uh, the, my whole life was revolved around them. Despite the odds of sports success in the city of entertainment, UNLV hit the jackpot. You know, I wouldn't have went to any other um, university in the um, country. You know, it's the best times of my life. However, head coach Jerry Tarkanian was at odds with the NCAA even before coming to UNLV. Long Beach State, his former program, was being investigated and hit with sanctions. And after UNLV made its first Final Four appearance in 1977, the NCAA was tipped off that UNLV was allegedly fixing grades, providing players with extra benefits and recruiting violations. UNLV history professor Michael Green says Tarkanian fought back, claiming the NCAA punished small schools and overlooked alleged violations from the larger schools. He's telling truths that people don't want told. <laughs> Let's face it, there has been historically ample corruption around college athletics. At the same time, in 1983, there was a renewed focus on education with the hiring of new university president, Robert Maxson. Maxson should be remembered as a president who did a lot to benefit UNLV. Tarkanian should be remembered as a great basketball coach. Their relationship turned into a disaster for the university's image. Supporters of Tarkanian says Maxson led a campaign to try and force the coach out. The show went on for the running rebels, but a risky gamble from Tarkanian almost cost the program everything. He recruited a player from the playgrounds of New York City, Lloyd Daniels, who was caught on TV buying drugs. Police say Daniels was arrested for trying to buy cocaine from an undercover cop in Las Vegas. Daniels was also being led to UNLV by Richard Perry, a prominent gambler known as the Fixer, who was convicted twice for sports bribery. During a 1992 interview, Tarkanian addressed the decision to bring in Daniels. We thought we had a chance not only to, to help the program, you know, if it turned out right, we would be getting a great player, but also a chance to help him. And I wish that we hadn't recruited him because that has really backfired on us. And, but we weren't aware that, that he'd been involved in drugs. That was the whole key. In the end, UNLV survived that risky recruiting decision. And the Running Rebels went on to bring a national championship to Las Vegas despite a season that saw multiple players getting suspended throughout the year. UNLV is the only program in the last 50 years to win a national championship that's not part of a major conference. I think it's astounding. Following the historic win in 1990, the Supreme Court handed down a ruling in the 1977 case stating that the NCAA could punish the university without due process. The NCAA issued sanctions, not allowing the team to play on national television and banning them from the postseason. However, the team fought back and was able to delay the sanctions until the 1991 and 92 season. In the 1990 season, UNLV was a team on another championship mission. The Rebels made one more run to the Final Four, winning 45 games in a row dating back to the previous season. But the Duke Blue Devils got some payback, beating UNLV 79-77 in the Final Four. Then the biggest bombshell was yet to come for UNLV. We just wanted to play basketball, get an education. You know, all the NCAA stuff, that was really above our head. On May 26, 1991, the Las Vegas Review Journal released this picture of sports briber Richard Perry in a hot tub with Final Four MVP Anderson Hunt, starting center David Butler and backup center Moses Scurry. The photo was taken in 1989 but released in 1991. Just 12 days after the photo was released, Tarkanian decided to step down. This is the passing of an era at UNLV. Coach is announcing his retirement. And then another revelation. A secret camera set up by the university to record UNLV practices was discovered. The school's athletic director was later fired. Not only did we find out that we were being investigated by the NC2A intensely, but by our own university to try to find any substance of any kind of a violation. Despite a push from supporters to try and keep Coach Tarkanian at the position, he would only coach one more season, leading the Running Rebels to a 26-2 record. In 1992, Tarkanian sued the NCAA, and six years later, the two sides settled out of court, awarding Tarkanian $2.5 million. There was no admission of liability on either side. 
Tarkanian's legacy is a complicated one. But for many people, he helped bring change to college basketball, such as pushing for athletes to profit from their name, image, and likeness. Virtually everything my dad said and did in the late 60s, 70s, and 80s with this fight against the NCAA, the NCAA now says it's the right thing to do. He also, through building a great basketball program at the time, helped bring together a very disparate community. Final Four MVP Anderson Hunt says Tarkanian helped young men grow together. You know, he was a master motivator. You know, that, you know, that was the difference from um, a lot of coaches. He motivated us. Every, every day he motivated us. On October 30th, 2013, the Jerry Tarkanian statue was unveiled outside of the Thomas and Mack Center following his induction into the Nate Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. As we welcome to the Hall of Fame, Coach Jerry Tarkanian. It's been eight years since the passing of Jerry Tarkanian, but his name lives on around Clark County, and his run at UNLV continues to be remembered. That just shows you how entrenched and how how deep, you know, of a winning culture uh, that took place here. The common person that became a celebrity because of what he did and what he brought to the community and to the kids that he coached. I mean, it's just, it's woven into the history and the legacy of Las Vegas.